Hey guys, it's Gary Plays Games here on YouTube, and today I think, well, I think I I have actually got the final episode of Let's Play Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone on the PC because this is an absolutely epic game. So where we left off last time, we started the we started the end. Okay, we started the end, and that's pretty much the size of it. And now we've got to go and defeat Voldemort. Yes, that unnamed character is in here. And basically, this bit is solid, and I might not even do this this episode, so it may not even be the last episode. But yes, it's Quirrell. I be meeting you here, Potter. I suppose you were expecting someone else. Well, it's me, scared, stuttering Professor Quirrell. Yes, Far you're scared. Too inquisitive to remain among the living. And yes, this is such a stressful part of the game. It's unbelievable how stressful this is. Okay, now I'm, you know, I may run out of commentary today. As this bit, you know, is just so bad. It's like, and sometimes he releases green stuff at you, not just for Pendo. Like, now, he will not hit that block. Whatever you do, he will not hit it. Okay, so I've got it that far. No! See, he just hits you with green stuff. Again and again. Which is now. Yeah, so I'm gonna tr I'm gonna have trouble commentating this episode. Yeah, there's a few chocolate frogs about, but not enough to, you know, help you. And look, he has killed me. So yeah, this is gonna be a long part, I imagine. It's called the final encounter, this part of the game. And, you know, all the Harry Potter games have been, you know, renowned for the hard last last bits, but this is a bit ridiculous. This is like... It's just stupid. But... You can't skip this either. Every time you have to watch this bit. And, you know, you guys are going to have to watch the, all this with me. I'm going to commentate over here, these Robert. bits. Possibly I over the next couple else. of times well, it's me. because yeah, this gets really annoying and it's even annoying me. But you know, there's not a lot that I can do apart from you know just try and try and try and just go for it. See, and I've hit it there, and he's hurt me already. Exactly. Like when you do the bigger one. You can like you know hide more, but when you do this one, it's like harder to hide. Like the green ones don't like the orange ones that he fires at you are actually for Pendo, so he's hitting the block back the opposite way with for Pendo. But when he hits green, he's trying to hit you with one of his you know spells. See, now that's there, locked into place, right? But I've got to try and get the little one there as well. Like, that is solid. Like, you can't even hide behind it. It's like... And now, like, I've nearly done it. But he just continues to hit it at you. See, look, I've now done it. Yay! I actually did that in one episode the last time I did this game. That took me literally about four and a half hours. And here is like four chocolate frogs because EA and the save game because EA are generous people when it comes to the end of this game. Now this bit is also extremely hard. Okay, 
And I don't like this bit, but I'm going to let you watch get seen. Give me the stone. Let me speak to him face to face. Master, you're, you're not strong enough. I have strength enough for this. So yeah, that was the lovely get scene of Rigorous. Now as you can see, I just hit him a few times with one of those massive, you know, poles. Now only every other one hits him, which is a bit of a blow. A blow. <laughs> he took a blow. Now, in a minute, I'm going to run out of these. As you can see, this is the last one. Then you have to move on to the mirror, okay? Which is, you know, difficult. You have to make him cast to himself, which is... See, he's now spamming. Now, I'm just walking around in circles right now, holding D, which is right. Now, as you can see, look at my health bar now. This is, you know, the hardest part of this game, is this last part. Now he, you know, he'll avoid trying to, now that's, he'll avoid trying to hit the mirror, because he knows that's going to hurt him. So as you can see, that just went through the mirror. Okay, I can't actually remember how I did this. You have to, you know, you have to turn the, you have to turn the mirror at just the right time for him to cast to himself, like that. He has hurt himself. But if you look at my health bar, there is no way I'm going to do it on this go. I'm sorry if I'm having a bit of a rant, but there is no way that on this go, I'm going to do that. So... There, he's hit me and I'm dead. So, yeah, I'm finding it really hard to commentate this part of the game. Because, you know, you have to concentrate so much. And now we have to watch this again. And Fraps is only running at 15 frames per second. And, you know, it's a stressful time. So, yeah. Wow. He has the stone. I know I have the stone. Give me the stone. No, I will not give you the stone. Let me speak to him face to face. I just wish in this game that you could Honestly, skip the cutscenes because in the chamber secrets, I don't know whether I'll ever do a let's play that, but I know I'm not doing that next. I'm doing uh, uh, the Sims hit and run next, but if I ever do a let's play of that game, it's helpful because you can skip the cutscenes and unless they're tutorial cutscenes, but you can you can skip the cutscene, most of them anyway. Um, which is really helpful when you get a repetitive bit like this. You can watch it the first time and skip it the rest of the times. Because you don't really want to watch this every time. Like, I could edit it out, but that would be complicated with like arm and everything like that. So, I'm trying to avoid doing it. See now, he hit that and now he's directly in front of it. So, I'll hurt him even more with that. Because sometimes, he'll get so he, he can hit it, but he will not be directly behind it. 
like then, he was not directly behind it. So he'll hit it a few times, and then he'll move to try and hit me. So we will hit it then, and it'll hurt him. But it'll also hurt me, which is a bit of a blow to morale. But yeah. See now, he didn't hit it, so he moved. And now if I... There we go, we hit him. But he's just destroyed... Once you reach halfway, he destroys that. And he sends these things at you. And now he does that weird thing. And then he sends loads at you. And that will destroy and... You have to try and get in the middle without getting hit and it's not easy. So... <laughs> yes, he just hurt himself. So yeah, this is a really, really, really hard part. How you... He just hurt himself. Ha ha. He sort of learns from his mistakes because he'll hit you once by doing that and then he will, you know, stop... He'll stop firing that place and move to hit you without hitting the mirror. Which is kind of quite annoying. Yay! Yay! I think we're actually doing this game! Well, we're getting close anyway. But those ones can go through the mirror. But yeah, the mirror is actually helping us. So if we didn't... Like... What I didn't think about Harry Potter the other day... Yes, I think we did it! We've done it! Yes! This is a Gary Plays game. Milestone. We just completed Harry Potter and the Foster Stone. Well, I think all the gameplay at least. Anyway, I'll let you watch the cutscene. Dumbledore smiled. What happened down in the dungeons between yourself and Professor Quill is a complete secret, he said. So naturally, the whole school knows. The stone had been destroyed, but Harry remained fearful that its loss would not prevent Lord Voldemort's return. Dumbledore nodded, sharing his concern. Nevertheless, Harry, if our battles do no more than slow Voldemort's return, with luck he may never regain his power at all. Harry made his way down to the end of the year feast alone that night. The great hall was decked out in green and silver to celebrate Slytherin winning the House Cup. When Harry entered, there was a sudden hush. He took a seat between Ron and Hermione, trying to ignore the stares of the other students. The House Cup, announced Dumbledore, is awarded to the team with the most house points. At the moment, that would seem to be Slytherin. A storm of cheering and stamping broke out from the Slytherin table. However, continued Dumbledore, in recognition of Mr. Harry Potter's pure nerve and outstanding courage, I award Gryffindor 60 points. Harry's table erupted with cheers and applause. The additional point had won the House Cup for Gryffindor. It was the best evening of Harry's life. Better than winning at Quidditch or Christmas or knocking out mountain trolls. He would never, ever forget tonight. 
Ah, oh, I just said the end. Oh, and now a bonus bit. I'll let you watch this as well. And yes, that is where our beans went. <laughs> so, all those beans we collected were worth it, guys. So, yeah. And it's gone to our fol folio magi, which as you can see, we don't have that many cards. And you press escape, and there are the credits. So we have completed harry potter and the philosopher's stone on the pc and yeah that was an epic let's play to be honest it took a bit of time but and i've realized how hard it is to upload every day and you know it's made me think so i'll be back i'll see you shortly with um with uh what's it called um the simpsons hit and run on the gamecube uh i played that game when i was you know when it came out and i've never completed it so I'll be playing that for you guys um, and if you enjoyed this please remember to click like and add to favorites and also if you wouldn't mind hitting subscribe that would be absolutely amazing I, I can't even thank you for that enough like I can send a message on YouTube but people just disregard it like it's just stupid anyway and we also have our 200th subscriber which is Holly is awesome dude so there's a link to go and subscribe to her in the video description as well and yeah that's pretty much it so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this i think the credits loop but i'm going to press escape on video just in case something else after the credits but i think that is it and yeah i will see you guys soon so let's press escape no it just goes back to the main menu so yeah, that's the end of it. Um, pretty much. There's a playlist on my channel as well. If you ever want to watch it ever again, you can just go to the playlist, click on the playlist, and it will play all the videos in order. Okay, so there you can watch this ever when you ever want to again. And I will see you. I w I'm not going to say I'll see you very soon for. Simpsons hit and run so thank you and goodbye